If you are preparing for any test or you want to appear in any interview session for the tablet manufacturing and you are not able to find a complete video regarding the tablet manufacturing from granulation till the packaging, you are at the right place because in this video I will try to try to briefly explain all the steps which are involved in tablet manufacturing till its packaging. Hello everyone, I am Sajad and you are watching my YouTube channel Pharma Inform. If you want to watch all these steps in details the link of all playlist which include detail explanation is given in description you can watch from there so first of all let's start from tablet granulation what is the definition of granulation the process in which powder particles are converted into large agglomerates by using solvent binder solution or pressure is known as granulation there are two types of granulation one is wet granulation and other is dry granulation when we use wet granulation for those products which are not degraded by the moisture and which are not degraded by the heat and what is the dry granulation the process in which we convert our fine powders or particles into large agglomerates or granules by using application of pressure is known as dry granulation in wet granulation we add binder or solvent solution in dry granulation we cannot add binder or binder solution or solvent because this method is used for those products which are heat sensitive and moisture sensitive the main important question is that when you are asked regarding the types of granulation there are two types wet granulation and dry granulation and when you are asked regarding the methods of tab tablet manufacturing then there are three methods one is when wet granulation second is dry granulation and third one is direct compression so what is direct compression the process in which all the excipients and apis are simply sieved and mixed and are ready for compression is known as direct compression so wet granulation is used for most you uh, is used for those products which are not moisture sensitive and which are not heat sensitive Dry granulation is used for moisture sensitive and heat sensitive products and dry compression method is used for those products which have good compaction properties or where APIs are in a good compaction mode. So I hope you are now familiar with the tablet granulation and types of manufacturing. Now let's discuss steps of wet granulation. Wet granulation steps include first one is the sieving, first one is weighing, second one is sieving, third one is pre-mixing fourth one is kneading and fifth one is wet sieving then drying then dry sieving and last one is the final blending so how wet granulation is performed or what is the procedure of wet granulation first of all we weigh our all the excipients and apis according to our formulation then in sieving step we sieve our excipients and apis according to the batch manufacturing record and after saving the step is pre-mixing in which we add our excipients in a mixer for the mixing purpose and in the kneading step we add a binder solution or solvent to our pre-mixed materials and by adding solvent or binder solution our powder materials are converted into a wet mass this step is like the like the preparation of floor for the uh, as which is commonly used in kitchens for bread or for in simple words for preparation of roti so uh, in the wet in after the kneading step the wet mass is passed through the wet mill and this step is known as wet sieving in which we reduce the particle size of our wet mass next step is the drying where we add our product into a dryer in FBD fluid bed dryer or in a tray dryer where the moisture excessive moisture is removed from our product and after drying the product is sieved using co-mill multi-mill or oscillating granulator to reduce and obtain uniform size particle and granules the last step is that after the sieving process we add our granules into a blender and then remaining excipients are added and it is mixed and our final blend is ready for the compression this is known as wet granulation next one is dry granulation as you know that we have discussed that in this method we do not use solvent and we do not use 
heat so in this method the first step is weighing next one is sieving third one is pre mixing then next one is application of pressure we can apply pressure by two two methods by using roller compactor or by using slugging method next one is screening of slugs and last one is the last one is final blending so how the wet dry granulation is performed first of all we weigh our excipients and apis next we sieve them next we premix them and the next step is application of pressure we can use compression machine where we form large tablets having 2 inch diameter which is known as slug or we use roller compactor where we have two rolls and our powder is passed through these two rolls and pressure is applied over powder and sheet of powders are prepared which are then broken down by a oscillating granulator which is installed below and this step is known as screening of slug uh, screening of paper sheets and if we have slugging method then we crush our tablets using multi mill co mill or oscillating granulator and the last step is final blending in which our grains are mixed with remaining excipients the third method direct compression direct compression method steps are weighing sieving and final mixing how this is performed we simply weigh our excipient and apis we sieve them and simply mix all the excipients and apis according to the bmr and the blend is ready for the compression hope you are now familiar with the granulation and method of tablet manufacturing now let's move towards tablet compression what is tablet compression the process in which we convert our powders or granules into the tablets by using application of pressure is known as tablet compression for tablet compression a machine is used which is known as compression machine there are two types of compression machines single punch compression machines and rotary compression machines single punch compression machines are used in labs and on large scale rotary compression machines are used rotary compression machines are basically of two types single feed and double feed in single feed each punch form one tablet during its complete revolution and it have a one hopper in double feed compression machines each punch manufacture or compress two tablets when it completes its round and it have two hoppers now next one is the main parts of the compression machine basically the main parts of compression machines are turret punches upper punches lower punches die table dies main compression wheels or main compression rollers pre compression rollers feeders hoppers and weight controllers came system or uh, punch guiding tracks which are known as cames weight adjustment cames weight controllers and tail over die basically all these are the main parts of compression machine the next one is what are the stages of tablet compression there are four stages of tablet compression first one is the feeding next one is the weighing third step is the compression and fourth one is the ejection if you want to watch complete description of all these stages the link is given in description you can de watch the detailed videos the next one is how the compression process is performed first of all we take line clearance and after line clearance when machine is ready and the required tooling is installed we add our powder or granules into the hopper of compression machine here we have a hopper powder flows through the hopper through the feeders and here we have dies here we have upper punches here we have lower punches we add our powder into the hoppers hop powder flow through the hopper nozzle and come into the feeder from feeder the powder is filled into the dies and the turret when revolved each die and punch system pass through main compression rollers we have two compression rollers here we have upper compression wheel here we have lower compression wheel the pressure is applied by these two compression wheels and is transmitted using the punches to the powders or granules in the dies and our tablet is 
compressed when tablet is compressed it is then ejected and collected into the containers so it is simple tablet compression process or how tablet is compressed we add powders into hoppers then come into dye this step is known as filling after filling we adjust the weight after weight adjustment it is compressed and after compression the fourth step is the ejection and tablet is ready and it is collected into the container so we have four stages of compression one is filling second one is weight adjustment second one third one is compression and fourth one is ejection the next process is tablet coating all these are in a sequence mean first of all we perform granulation step and we make our granules and after granulation our blend is ready for compression we compress our tablets and after compression we have the coating process some tablets are used as core mean coating is not required and for those tablets where coating is required we have coating process so what is tablet coating the process in which we apply a thin layer of polymer over our tablet surface by using a tablet coating system is known as tablet coating if you want to watch complete playlist the link is given in description so what are the types of tablet coating mainly there are film coating enteric coating sugar coating and drug coating if you are not familiar with drug coating i will also give the link in the description box you can watch the video regarding the drug coating and all the important process parameters of the tablet coating so why we perform coating mainly coating is performed to mask the taste to protect from light protect from moisture humidity and to alter the release of api like extended release sustained release or enteric coat we can also use coating to give different colors for product identification we can use coating for giving colors and to prevent the mix up these are basic requirements of the coating why we perform tablet coating the next one is what is the tablet coating procedure how tablet coating is performed first of all we prepare a coating suspension including coating suspension components are solvent polymer plasticizer colorants opacants and these and the coating suspension is prepared when the coating suspension is prepared we have a coating pan in which we add our tablets here we have spray guns and from here in this container we have our coating suspension here is inlet hot air here is exhaust air our air is supplied from outside after processing it is hot air it give its heat to the tablets and our tablets are also warmed so we apply our coating suspension which is converted into fine droplets by using atomization system and it is sprayed over the tablet surface due to this hot air our solvent is evaporated and our solid content is deposited over the tablet surface so in this way our all the coating process is completing after the tablet coating process the next one is tablet blistering if we have core tablets after compression the tablets are directly delivered to the blistering section or are stored in the staging area from where we can take them for the blistering and if the coating is required then after compression tablets after coating are delivered to the blistering so what is the blistering basically blistering is a process in which we enclose our tablets into the foils there are two types of blistering basically two blistering types are commonly used one is allo allo and one is allo pvc allo pvdc is also used but mainly allo allo and allo pvc is used blistering is done by using blistering machine in which we have a feeding system which feed our tablets into hopper from where we have two foils one is leading foil which come from upside and one is the main foil which may be the pvc or allo allo and in this in this foil we form pockets and after formation of pockets the tablets are added or feed into each pockets and after 
adding tablets into the pockets our leading foil come over it it is sealed then it is cooled and embossing is applied over it mean we emboss batch numbers and expiry date i will record a separate video on detail description of blistering in detail so here is the brief overview so after batch number or embossing we cut our blisters into two or three depending upon the our cutting system which is installed into the machine and our blisters are collected and are ready for the packaging after blistering the next one is packaging main in this activity we add our blisters into a unit carton in in case of online packaging we directly feed blisters to the packaging machines and in case of manual activities we collect these blisters and then transfer on the conveyor belts from where each blisters are packed into the unit cartons depending upon its packaging specifications and basically there are three types of packaging one is primary packaging second one is secondary packaging and third one is second tertiary packaging primary packaging is the type of packaging which is which have direct contact with the product mean in case of tablets our blisters are the primary packaging because they are in direct contact with the tablets and se secondary packaging are the unit cartons in which we are added our we are adding our blisters and the tertiary packaging is the shipper system in which we add our 50 40 or 30 unit cartons and wrap them for protection so i hope you are now have complete overview of tablet manufacturing from granulation till packaging after packaging basically our product is ready for dispatch and it is shifted for to the quarantine for which sampling from where its sampling is done and when the batch is released it is ready for the dispatch to the market or it is the complete procedures in some companies basically after packaging and it is stored in quarantines and when it is released it is delivered to the packaging stores or packaging warehouses from where it is delivered to the market according to the demand i hope i tried my best to deliver complete manufacturing of the tablet from granulation till its dispatch in a few minutes if you have any confusion you can ask in the comment box and if you like the video share it to others and till the next video allah hafiz